If you'd like to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel on YouTube or follow us here on Instagram. Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezak at CM Trading. Today is January 21st, 2020, and today is Tuesday morning. So yesterday out of the United States was a major national holiday after Martin Luther King Jr., which meant that the New York stock exchanges, the U.S. stocks were closed. So there was no trading there. But today we resume as normal. Now, looking at the major economic events today out of Japan this morning, early, we had monetary policy meeting that happened with looking at the yen gaining versus the dollar. OK, we're going to take a look at that in just a second. Now, looking at the indices, the Dow Jones remains strong. But the question is how much longer and looking at the commodities, gold bounces, what oil retraces to support after some surplus inventory. And lastly, looking at stocks, Netflix, which is one of the major FANG stocks, right, is set to release quarterly reports today. OK, as the week actually progresses, we've got more monetary policies actually coming out. And also we have a lot more earning releases for major stocks in the United States. You do want to know that that is coming out. But let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So we're jumping first into the USD Japanese yen and you could pretty much see that it hit this little snag at 110. OK, which means that the yen is gaining versus the dollar, but we still have way to go. OK, this doesn't mean that it's going to, you know, not break this resistance at 110 ish level, but it may as this has corrected itself from this 107 and it may retrace to this 10945 ish level as we move on the week. Now, looking at the czar, OK, this is something to make note of. It's getting much weaker versus the dollar 1457 right now and breaking that resistance of 1458. So that's a major resistance level. You do want to know that these things are happening because it may mean that we get closer to this 15 ish level. Now, we haven't been in these areas for quite some time. Now, jumping into gold, we're parking up here at 1565. But that doesn't mean that we may not test this 1548 again as we go into this week and we hit earnings season. Now, looking at oil. We hit pretty much this $58 resistance level, support level, excuse me. And we, if we break it, that means we could get back to this 56-ish level. Now, surplus in inventory implies that the prices will go down, right? There's more surplus, there's more, the less demand makes prices go down. Very easy economics when it comes to oil. So with that said, if it does break this 5790-ish level, we could see it retrace back to this 5655-ish level. Now, looking at the Dow Jones, looking at this morning, we had a little bit of a retracement from 29,276 down to 29,179. But this is in anticipation of today's and further earning releases from some major stock companies that are coming out of the United States. So it's across the board that's this little bit of a sell off. So you do want to know it's coming out. Now, looking at Netflix, this thing has gotten much stronger over the past year. It's close to its all time highs, not breaking higher right here. Let's look at a daily chart just to give us a perspective because our yearly highs was 379 and we've gapped down. OK, but we've making that correction. OK, so this is really a very important spot for it because this is really resistance 342. So if the market actually responds very well to Netflix. That means it could break above this resistance line. If not, that means that we'll sell off. OK, it's a really very clear sign right now as we enter today's trading. Now, looking at some of the other stocks, Apple still very strong 318. OK, on its high. So it's one of the fang stocks as well. Still very, very strong. If you look at Facebook also was on its highs last week, but it may make a correction this week. So just keep that in mind in the back of your head as things may actually rotate once again going into this week. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.